All right, everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the Fly C model A11 mini drone. There it is. It's a real beauty. Anyway, it has altitude hold, flips, um, six axis gyro, and uh, 2.4 gigahertz. But what I don't like about it right off the bat, and we'll see if it affects the flight performance, being able to steer it fast enough. It doesn't have any speed control. It doesn't have any rates. So it's got one speed control and that's it. And that's kind of kind of a, of a bummer, okay? But, uh, you know, we're just going to have to deal with it, man. We will deal with it. And, of course, right there, it's made in China. <laughs> So let's get it out of the box and check it out. All right, so there it is out of the box. You got the quadcopter itself. And I will say that it does look very similar to that uh, Medicu M1. It looks very similar to that. I'm not sure. I think the Medicu might have had some speed adjustments on it. This does not, but it kind of looks a lot like it, especially the packaging. Because the Medicu had this packaging also where the quadcopter sat in there like that. I do remember that. Even though I gave that away right after I made the flight, I remember this foam rubber insert that the Medicu sat in. Plus that was black and red and this is black and orange. So I think it was very similar to this thing. Anyway, here's the controller it's one of the little peanut deals you know you press it in to do the flips and it has a calibration button on here where you don't have the level calibration with the sticks you just hit this button right here and that's about it because it doesn't uh, just does the flips and that it doesn't have any speeds so it doesn't have any rates so you just have to deal with that now to give you two batteries with it at least and they are a um, 3.7 220s so that ought to get you a couple minutes of flight time out of there, like five minutes or something. I don't know if there's a power button on here. I don't see it. Let's just pop this battery in here real quick to see if it has that. You just slide the battery in like that. And you plug it in. No, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have an on-off switch. So when you plug it in, it comes on. So we'll save that. It has a very nice manual. The manual's laid out real nice, real nice. Tells you all what you need to know. Like I said, it's got the extra batteries, got the spare props, the screwdriver, the scru uh, the prop removal tool, and some tips. So there you go. All of it. It's all in there. The whole nine yards. And it has this uh, dastardly screw that you have to leave in there. It won't let you take get rid of the screw. I tried, but it's embedded in there, so you can't take it out. All right, guys, let's get it over there and fly it around for a little bit and see if it's worthy. All right, guys, we're going to be sporting here the Fly C A11 Mini Drone. There it is. There's a close-up. Yay. Let's check it out. Turn on the transmitter. There's the calibration button right there. It's one of these ones on the left bottom right. You just hit the left side of it. Like I said, it doesn't have any speed changes. Wait a minute, that seems like it's in a headless mode to me. I might have hit some kind of button there. Yes. Oh, I hate that. Hold on. Yeah, it's in some kind of headless mode, unless that's what it's always in. So if that's the case, I'm not going to be happy with this thing at all. 
Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay, you press down on this one, it puts it into headless mode. I must have accidentally pressed on it. So, don't do that. See, because it, has, it doesn't have a lot of pitch to it, so it doesn't steer real tight indoors, you know. There's your little spinning thing there, where it'll just do those little 360s. So, then as soon as you bump one of the sticks, it stops doing that. But, yeah, it doesn't, without the rates, it kind of takes the fun out of it, you know. I mean, it flies okay. I mean, it flies decent. You know, it's a decent flyer, but it, it just doesn't have that real excitement to it, you know, without the, without the rate change. So let's do the old wall test here to bump it into the wall. So it can withstand a pretty decent hit there. Uh, I'm trying to get it to do a flip, but it's it's doing the beeping, just not the flipping. Like I said, it steers real nice. It's just not real tight. Not like that little that little dude on the on that little hoverboard thing, you know, that Force One stunt guy. This is nothing like that. But it, I mean, it does the job. I mean, you can learn with it, so. You can have fun with it inside. You know, you're not gonna tear it up or anything like that if you crash it up. Oh, there went the battery. So you know the battery don't last that long. So, yeah. All right, guys, there you go. Ugh. All right, there it is, the Fly C. Um, yeah, I wouldn't uh, recommend this. I would uh, take a pass on this thing, to be honest with you. Battery life didn't seem to be that good. It doesn't have any rates. So <clears throat> I would just do a thumbs down on that. All right, guys, have a nice day.